But uh, let's flip the script, because in the town of Rifle, Colorado, that's right, Rifle, in a restaurant called Shooter's Grill, you can openly carry a gun, and so can the waitresses. Take a look at the sign on the door. All guns are welcome here. And as you can see in the pictures, the waitresses, free to jot down your, uh, your burger order with a loaded gun in the holster. Uh, their 27-year-old owner was the first to actually carry a pistol, and so the waitresses liked the idea, so they too started packing heat. But there are strict rules in place, one of them being to keep all weapons holstered unless the need arises. So let me bring in the owner of Shooter's Grill. She is Lauren Bobert. Lauren, thanks for coming on. Hi. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I mentioned the name of the town. It's called Rifle. You know, it's Shooter's Grill. This is hunting country in Colorado. Uh, what, what has the response been to your armed waitresses? Well, up until recently, it wasn't a big deal. It's kind of a way of life here. Um, there's hundreds and thousands of people who open carry, conceal carry, and hardly think any other thing of it. Um, in fact, we've been open for one year, a little more than that. And us um, open carrying was not a big deal until just recently, until it started hitting all over America. Until just recently when a newspaper reporter decided to walk into your restaurant and then, you know, here we go, you're on CNN. Yep. Uh, we, mentioned, yes. we mentioned, Lauren, that the guns are loaded, they're holstered. I'm assuming the safeties are on? Yes, of course. We have safeties. Um, I mean, guns nowadays, are, they're, they're firearms, they're manufactured great. Um, the holsters, they cover your trigger, you know, there's, there's no accidents that are going to happen. Um, I mean, it, there's no such thing these days. Um, we, we do keep them holstered. There's no reason a waitress is ever allowed to unholster. I mean, if something did happen, we are not anticipating an attack. We do not expect it. We have fire extinguishers. We are not expecting a fire. Um, but I, I seriously doubt any of my waitresses would even need to unholster if a need did arise, as the sign is uh, quoted to say. Um, we have so many patrons here that carry and would stand up for my girls that we wouldn't even need to do anything. Okay, let me, let me just back up to one of your points that, that sadly, okay. I've done this job way too many times to know that accidents do happen. There are bad people out there. So I just, Lauren, I have to push you on, on that point because I, I realize this is, this is legal. You have the best right. of intentions. You have these guns, safeties in these holsters. But what <coughs> if, I mean, you have to play out the scenario of a criminal walking in, going for the gun. I mean, it's just attached no. in a holster to buy a snap what about kids grabbing a gun um, no, it, there's actually um there's locking mechanisms to where you can only pull them out at certain angles and i mean even then that would be a, a very intense situation where there's many people around not just a single waitress who's who has her hands tied and can't do anything to defend herself okay so and then kids do not reach for them the way they don't they don't come near them i have four boys myself and you know the the ones who are old enough to um hold a firearm they're actually being trained how to properly do that so there is no ignorance when when they start shooting when they get older and start going out on their own okay um, i understand your kids are maybe not maybe not all kids are but let me let me just move on to my final point uh, i know yeah. that on the on your wall there you have copies of the declaration of independence you have copies of the bill yep. of rights is the sign that reads to, to those sitting inside that they are proudly clinging to my guns and bible let me pause and play play our viewers something <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, Lauren. That was then Senator Obama uh, back in 2008 campaigning, comment caught off mic, talking about people in rural areas, you know, clinging to their guns and religion. And so I just have to ask, is the sign in your restaurant a, a direct jab at Obama? No. No, I would never do anything to disrespect my president. Um, I believe that it is a, an office that um, is in place by God. And, you know, I would never say anything to disrespect him. I didn't know that that comment was even made. I actually picked up the sign just at a local store. Hmm. Okay. No, actually, um, I, I stand corrected. A friend of mine bought that for me, and I thought it was fitting. Okay. Lauren Boebert, we're running against the clock. Thank you so much for coming on, though. Uh, your perspective. Thank you, thank you, thank you.